live from Junior Achievement City. Welcome to our first edition of our Junior Achievement event, Are You Smarter Than a JA Fifth Grader? Presented today by Discover. We are raising funds for our in-class programs where five executives will square off against five JA fifth grade students. Our contestants today are amazing JA educated fifth graders and super supportive executives from Utah businesses. And our contestants are Bennett attends Daybreak Elementary. His favorite quarantine activity is spending time at the family cabin. Leah goes to Canyon Rim Academy. She spent the quarantine baking desserts for her family. And from Bonneville Elementary, we have Ginger, who loves raising adorable baby quail. Oliver goes to Hawthorne Elementary and enjoys spending his time outside playing in the sun. Josh goes to Howard R. Driggs Elementary. He loves riding his bike through the neighborhoods. And now to our executives. Matt Stewart is with us from New York Life. His favorite activities are cycling and cooking on his Traeger. Ben Weissman is with SSFCU. He enjoys spending time at a cabin up Hobble Creek Canyon. And from Key Bank, we have Terry Grant. Just like Josh, Terry enjoys spending his time riding his bike. Logan Stuckey with Total Dental Administrators has been cooking up tasty meals for his family. Steve Peck is with our wonderful sponsor, Discover. He's been spending his time playing Mario Party with his seven and 11 year old daughters. And now here's your host, Laura Lovell. We would again like to thank Discover for this sponsorship and for their dedication and strong support over the years. We would actually like to begin this event by presenting an award to Steve Peck. Steve, surprise! Steve, I know you're not expecting this, but on behalf of Christy Tribe and the Junior Achievement Board of Directors, I feel very honored and proud and privileged to present this award with you with the National Bronze Leadership Award. To give some deeper meaning behind this award, this has to be approved by our national office. And we only give away one, maybe two a year. Thank you for your help, Steve, in placing 219 volunteers in the classroom and in JA City each year for your leadership, for your example, and for all you do to help junior achievement. We appreciate your, your very strong partnership. I know we surprised you, and I know you weren't expecting <laughs> this, but we would love to hear a few words from you if you would. No, I just say thank you. You know, this is really thanks to Discover. And, and I also have to uh, give a shout out to Rich Simon, who is uh, one of my directors in charge of volunteerism. And uh, you know, the, you know, what he's built at Discover is something that uh, I look up to. And I think uh, just a fantastic job by all. So thank you very much. Echo everything you just said. Thank you, Steve. All right. Are we ready? Ginger, are you ready? Yeah. All right, Ginger, pick your category, pick your... Pick I'm gonna do keep the job for 100. Keep the job for 100, Ginger, all right. Which things should be included when writing your resume? A, education and training. B, the kind of car you drive. C, the amount of money you made at your last job. Or D, your favorite restaurant. I'm going to go with A, education and training. A, education and training, Ginger just said. Is that the right answer? Oh, look at my avatar. Mm -hmm. Clap, clap, clap for Ginger. <laughs> education and training is correct. Way to go. It looks like we have a tie. Let's go on to Ben Wiseman and Leah. Ben, you're up to select your category. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go with uh, Innovation Nation. I'm going to go big. Oh, 400. Innovation Let's Nation see. for 400. Let's Leah, see what we got. Let him get away with this. All right, Ben. Free enterprise is which of the following? A, an economic system not driven by supply and demand. B, economic decisions made by people and businesses. C, a system controlled completely by the government. Or D, points you acquire at a grocery store when making purchases. 
I like that one. But, I like uh, that one too. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, <laughs> well, let's see. Free enterprise. I have 15 seconds. You have 15. Can I ask seconds. a fifth grader? <laughs> um, let's see. Well, Leah could answer and she could answer correctly and steal those points right from you. Okay, I'm going to go with B economic decisions made by people and businesses. Economic decisions made by people and businesses. All right, Ben, I'll mimic my avatar. How's that? Way awesome. to go. He got 400 points. Leah, are you going to let him get away with that? All right, Steve, you are up. I would have gone with Star Wars on that other one. I think that would have been cooler. <laughs> Let's see. But, Steve, uh, you know that right, I, I would have got a Star Wars. Yeah, I would have gotten it wrong, but I would have tried. Uh, let's go Innovation Nation. Do we, by the way, do we have any daily doubles? Daily um, doubles? I'll well, go with Innovation Nation for 300. Innovation hope Nation it's a daily double. for 300. Let's see if it's a daily double, and it's not. What do we call buildings, tools, machines, and money that businesses use to make products? Is it A, capital resources, B, investments, C, profit, or D, natural resources? Uh, let's go with A as an apple. A is an apple. Capital resources. Yay! <laughs> Way to go, Steve. Way to get that right. All right, Leah, are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, Leah, let's hear it. What category would you like? I think I'm going to go with Innovation Nation 100. Innovation Nation for 100. All right, Leah, who's in charge of running a city? Is it an A, chairman, B, mayor, C, CEO, or D, advisor? Hmm, that's a hard one. Kidding. <laughs> B, mayor. All right, she said B, mayor. And I think Leah may have given us a little bit of a sarcastic answer. What do you guys think? I kind of like her. I think that's awesome. Mm. Okay, Bennett, you are up. Bennett, what would you like? Keep the job for 200. Keep the job for 200. All right, a rivalry between two or more businesses striving for the same customer is called A, competition, B, crusade, C, pact, or D, crisis? A, competition. All right, Bennett has chosen A, competition. All right, Bennett, look at me lifting those weights. That sure looks awesome. Way to go, Bennett. All right, everybody, that's the game. Why don't we check out our winners? We've got our executives at 2,200, but executives, look at our JA fifth graders who came in for the win at 2,800. Yeah, fifth graders, what's up? You guys totally, totally took down those executives. Way to go. All right, everybody, it is time for you to make your final donations today. Before we announce our totals for this event, we would again like to thank Discover for sponsoring today. We would also like to thank TDA, KeyBank, SSFCU and New York Life for their support and for their part par participation. They are all fantastic and we appreciate their fine partnerships so much. We'd also like to thank our JA fifth grade students today. We'd like to thank Bennett. We'd like to thank Josh. We'd like to thank Ginger, Leah, and Oliver. Because of your generous donations today, we were able to raise $42,000, $42,855. Way to go. I cannot leave off that $855. Everybody, give yourselves a round of applause. You are all fabulous, and thank you for donating. Thank you to everyone for your support of Junior Achievement, especially during these challenging times. We appreciate every single one of you and your dedication to Utah's children. In fact, here is one of JA's finest fifth graders, Bennett, who I am going to turn the time over to now and who will close the event for us. Bennett, here you go. You're up. On behalf of all JA students, we appreciate you attending our first ever JA Smarter event. 
People like you can make a big difference for students like me. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you.